Hi guys, my name is Marvin. Welcome to VinTube and please subscribe. Now we're taking our vlog to another level as a sign of appreciation to my 153 subscribers! <laughs> now we're doing a new segment called Versus! For this vlog, we're doing Milky, which is better? Koi or Jiho? Just a little bit of trivia, milk tea or bubble tea started in Taiwan as in right every other corner of the street may makikita kang milk tea stores and now milk tea shops or stores are popping out all over Asian countries. So let's start! First, yung packaging. Uh, parehas ko naman sila gila binili basically as medium size but when it comes to its appearance, makikita nyo na mas mukhang mas malaki yung koi compared to liho. Yung liho kasi yung size niya medyo pabilog na pataba. When it comes to koi naman, medyo pahaba siya. So, mas mukha mas malaki yung koi. Pero, hindi natin sure kung yung liters ba niya inside or yung milk niya inside is parehas lang naman ng content or ng size. When it comes to appearance naman, uh, makikita natin na medyo uh, appealing or striking yung packaging ng liho compared sa koi. Basically, yung Liho kasi may pinafollow silang certain branding for this particular period of time. So, baka naman this time, ito yung inaano nila na concept. And then, when it comes to Koi naman, I uh, would prefer its simplicity and uh, yung pagiging consistent nila when it comes to packaging. Kasi, parang sobrang critical nung packaging when it comes to branding. So, I would prefer for packaging and presentation. So next would be the bubbles or the pearls. I'm very particular kasi when it comes to choosing milk tea or drinking milk tea. Gusto ko kasi yung pearl niya is parang nagbibigay sa akin satisfaction yung itsura ng pearls niya yung feeling ng pearls niya habang iniinom ko. So I would prefer yung bilugan at yung black na pearl ng liho. Yan. Kasi sa koi, medyo yung kulay ng pearl niya or yung bubble niya is brownish and medyo maliliit yung pearls niya compared to the pearls of liho. And now, doon na tayo sa taste, which is yung critical part. So, titikpan na natin yung koi and yung liho. So, koi. Ooh. And liho. So, to be fair, sa comparison, bumili ako ng parehas na flavor from two different stores. And I bought hazelnut milk tea. So, first up, koi. Yung nasi ng koi, medyo nangingibabaw yung tea compared sa milk. So, yun muna sa ngayon. And yung pearls niya, parang hindi kasi ako gano'n nag enjoy Pero hindi naman ako sobrang bias I would still uh, compare fairly. I think I would need the water para mahugasan yung lasa ng koi. Water please! Thanks for the water. Now we're going to taste liho. May bumarang pearl! Sa liho naman, mas nangibabaw sa akin yung milk taste niya compared to the tea. So for the hazelnut flavor, I would prefer the hazelnut taste of liho kasi mas nangibabaw yung chocolate taste niya na perfectly combined dun sa milk tsaka tea nung uh, mismong liho hazelnut tea when it comes to koi naman kasi parang yung tea niya sobrang nangibabaw natatabunan niya na yung lasa ng milk and yung hazelnut na 
compare naman sa pearls or dun sa bubbles, I would go to this one. Kasi yung pearls niya parang sobrang chewy. Talagang nanonood siya dun sa loob ng bibig mo. Mas nag-e-enjoy ako ngayon yung inyo pearls ng Liho compared sa Koi. Kasi yung Koi, yun niya, buod sa maliliit yung pearls niya. Pag hinuya mo na siya, parang hindi siya ganun ka-chewy. Parang hindi ko siya ma-enjoy hinuyain. So for this vlog, I would prefer Liho. For those of you guys who are planning to visit Singapore, marami pa namang ibang milky stores or shops na available or around the island. But we will feature other brands on my upcoming episodes. To keep you posted on my next videos, reaction videos, travel videos, just click the subscribe button below. Bye! Hi! <laughs> okay. Você não está aí?